It's a well-known fact that U.S. credit unions struggle to meet the needs of young adults. The average age of a U.S. credit union member now stands at 47 years old and has been increasing for several decades. A national study by McKinsey & Company found that people aged 18 to 34 actually trust credit unions less than banks. This lack of trust is in spite of the headlines and in spite of banks dropping in customer satisfaction more than almost any other industry in recent years. But let's zero in a bit more. According to a study by the Minnesota Credit Union Network, one in four young Minnesotans have no feelings toward credit unions at all. They are not even on their radar. But Grandma's Ludafisk is. Survival depends on reversing this trend before credit unions lose an entire generation of members. But how? First, let's learn a little bit more about young adults in Minnesota. How do they behave? Terribly. They're all in Norwegian street gangs. That's not true. They share a lot in common with Xers and Boomers, but they also have their differences. Minnesota State Demographic Center says that today's young adult is more ethnically diverse, highly educated, apt to marry later in life, cohabitating more than previous generations, and they're also earning less and find it harder to pay for college, find a job, or buy a home than previous generations. Additionally, young adults have very different ideas about convenience and customer service. A Feline study found that 68% of young adults would not switch from online-only banks like ING Direct or HSBC Direct because of their customer service. Their service model is, you do it. We need to rethink our definitions. So, how can Minnesota credit unions reach young adults? Step 1. Understand their needs. A young adult advisory group can provide direct and ongoing feedback for your credit union, connecting you to this demographic. They can even sit on your board. Research should always make it easier to solve real problems. Get outside of your own head by observing real consumer behavior, finding the opportunities, and prototyping your ideas quickly and cheaply so you can discover how they work in the real world. Even better, use open innovation tournaments to let consumers help you solve your problems through a contest. Step 2. Create awareness. Good idea. Focus your message. The Minnesota study found three important themes to communicate trust, service, and savings. When the California Credit Union League launched an awareness campaign, they learned the following. Keep language and themes simple, like avoiding credit union lingo, show specific benefits to potential members, and make sure your slogan is focused on helping solve people's problems. If you use social media, make sure you know four things. Who are you targeting? How will you measure success? Why should anybody be motivated to participate? And what tools will help your participants achieve their goal? Step three, adjust products. Focus on helping with firsts, such as their first car, home, or credit card. Again, the meaning of convenience, service, and products is changing, and a seamless online experience is at the top of the list of young people's expectations. In order to compete with the likes of ING Direct, HSBC Direct, and Chase, credit unions should consider banding together to share the cost of developing a world-class online experience. Think online shared branching. Step 4. Employees are key. While it's not exactly being the Vikings quarterback, Minnesota credit unions are a good place to work and people shouldn't have to accidentally fall into them for employment. Reach out to high schools, technical colleges, and universities. Step 5. Measure for success. Monitor statewide numbers like average member age and number of accounts held by young members. Set goals around these numbers and work toward them together. Capture your success stories and share them with your community. The more young people know that credit unions can help them, the more young people you can actually help. Finally, take action. Identify needs, build awareness, build products, grow your culture, and create measures for success. The future of Minnesota credit unions, your members, and your communities depends on it. The worst thing you can do is nothing at all. Thank you.